verse 6. And if a man sell his daughter to be a maidservant, she shall not go out as the men servant do. That's the point. She can't leave. If she pleased not her husband, who had betrothed her to himself, so, and yes, you sell your daughter, yes, and um, engage to himself, then shall he let her be redeemed, to sell, be, be redeemed by whom? Her father. Because, you know, to sell her unto a strange nation, he shall have no power, seeing he had dealt deceitfully with her. This is deceitful, because you can't take a woman and then kick her off. You, can't, you shouldn't do that. That's deceitful. So you can't do that. You need to give her back to her father. And if he have betrothed her unto his son, right? You bought a daughter for your son. He shall deal with her after the manner of daughters. That is your daughter-in-law. You shall love her as such. If he, the buyer of a Hebrew servant, yeah, take him another wife, Okay, then it comes into that. Right. But uh, this also goes for your regular wife. You can also take your regular wife. Why? Because your father may have a, re a concubine or another wife, which a concubine is a lesser wife, but still. You had the Levite who also had a concubine of Judah. So you are allowed to have concubines of other nations. <laughs> that too, that too, that too. But that, that, that's not what I wanted to say. You may have concubines of other tribes. That's what I wanted to say. But you can have concubines of other nations too. Don't don't do it. don't get it twisted. I didn't make a mistake. I I did make a mistake by saying that because I didn't want to say that. I wanted to say tribe. I wanted to say tribe, a different tribe. The Levi and his Judah wife, uh, concubine. Yeah, yeah, Judah concubine. That's what he had. The Levi in the book of Judges. In the book of Judges. I forgot what Judges. Wait, uh, Levi. Judges 19. He took for himself a concubine from Bethlehem in Judah. That was a Judah wife. But she, but his concubine played the harlot against him. But anyway, that's a, out of uh, father's house at Bethlehem in Judah. So she was a Judah, Judahite. Because back in the days, the, the people stayed in the region where they were. Which is, you can find that in the book of the, the Numbers chapter 36. And also in Numbers chapter 27. Right, so and, um, I had something in my head. I lost it because I went over there. Wait, sorry. Let me try to get it back again. Uh, no, no, no. It don't come. It don't come. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so. <clears throat> six years. Here. Uh, do the round me 15. To the round me 15 because a lot of people might say like oh you you Israelites used to enslave each other ooh, ooh, ooh. so why why is it so bad that the white man did it because you're the goddamn devil and second we didn't do cr crazy things with each other do the round me chapter 15 verse 12 if thy brother a Hebrew servant or a Hebrew woman be sold unto thee thy brother so you are an Israelite also Hebrew Israelite and sure and serve thee six years. Then in the seventh thou shalt let him go free from thee. And when thou sendest him out from thee. Right? So when you send him away. After the six years that he worked for you. In the seventh you let him go. Thou shalt not let him go away empty. So it means. Thou shalt furnish him liberally. Out of thy stock. And out of thy floor. Which is the threshing floor. Which represents food weed and out of thy wine press you need to give him wine too of that wherewith of that wherewith Yahweh thy power had blessed thee thou shall give unto him right the things that you have in abundance that the Lord blessed you with those things you give him to whether you have gems or whatever gold silver it doesn't matter the things that you are blessed in from the Lord you give unto him also so what does that represent what does that mean what does that indicate it indicates that we used to make each other rich. How? If a poor brother came unto us uh, and then worked for us six years, 
once he is done with the six years, he himself would be rich also. So we didn't enslave each other like beasts. Actually, we did do that because we broke the laws of the Lord. And you can read that in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 34. And the Lord punished us for that. <laughs> he did that. He did that. Verse uh, 8 until verse... Yeah, you can read the whole chapter then. You know, the whole chapter is good. But I, I, I read this. I did a book uh, on the on the book of Deuteronomy 15. I did that. And I also did a, a chapter, a video, sorry, not a book, a video, but a video. I also did a video on the book of Exodus 21. So I already covered that. So, but I'm saying it again, you know, okay. I like, uh, Lord willing, I'll keep on liking this. Right, so it says here, of that were writ Yahweh that power, okay, I read that, 15. And thou shalt remember that thou was a bondman in the land of Egypt, and Yahweh thy power redeemed thee. Therefore, I command thee this thing today. Right, 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 right. So, yeah. If that brother wax ball, he could be the evil against that poor brother. Beware that the, the wicked hearts in the seven year release. Yeah, he can't do that. He can't do that. Okay, let's go. Exodus 21. Yeah, okay. Right, I did a chap I did this chapter also. So yeah, I think I explained this same thing there too. But hey, do it again, right? Right. So let me see something. Malachi chapter two. That's what I'm looking for. If I'm correct, let me see. No. Thirty-four. Oh yeah. Malachi. I'm looking for Malachi. Sorry. Hmm. Wait. Oh, yeah. I had it here. Right. Now, this is the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 12. Hmm. Yeah. Yahweh will cut off the man that doeth this, the master and the scholar, out of his tabernacle of Jacob, and him that offereth an offering unto Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. And this have ye done again, covering the altar of the Lord with tears, as if you're sorry, basically, with weeping and with crying out, and so much that he regarded not the offering anymore. Why? Because you're bitching and crying, and but those are not sincere tears. Those are crocodile tears. You, <laughs> they're deceitful. These people are deceitful. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, our people are deceitful. <laughs> Very disrespectful, but then, um, anyway, they're lying. <laughs> or receive it with good will at your hand. Or receive it with good will at your hand, because the Lord is not going to do that no more. That's why he destroyed us. <laughs> Yet ye say, but he has mercy on us, because don't forget that. You know, don't forget that part. Yet ye say, wherefore, because, yeah, basically our people are saying, why are you acting like this against us, Lord? Have you seen the things that you have done, you Israelites? Have you seen it? Huh? <laughs> you you don't look in the mirror, do you? You don't look in the mirror to yourself, do you? Because Yahweh had been witnesses between thee and the wife of thy youth. What is the wife of your youth? The truth, the wisdom, the, the scriptures. That's the wife of your youth. Against whom thou hast dealt treacherously by breaking the law. The wife of your youth is the law. That's the law. <clears throat> You're supposed to be married unto the scriptures. That's your first wife. The wife of thy youth. Against whom thou hast dealt treacherously. Huh? Against whom thou hast dealt treacherously. Yet is she thy companion. And the wife of thy covenant. You see? This is it. This is the wife of the covenant. And the thing is. Your wife is supposed to be your companion, not your partner. Your actual physical wife. I'm not talking about this one. This one too, but your actual physical wife, the one that you, you know, the one that you can touch. That one. She's supposed to be your companion. Now, what is the difference between a companion and a partner? Because Esau teaches you that your wife is your partner. Here, for example, companion is a partner. Mm, no. Each of a pair of things intended to complement or match each other, a woman and a wife, 
uh, another half that's that's how you complement each other she has something for you to stick in not the same thing as you or two holes which are two females and two sticks which are two mills yeah that, that, that's not your that's not your you know anyway that's not your companion that's your partner this is your part oh oops oh, wait uh, part partner what is your partner a partner is somebody that you do business with 50 50 that's your partner right uh, partner yeah that's your partner somebody that you do business with but marriage is a business did you know that i didn't know that you, i think i found out last year i am not kidding you i didn't know that you needed to pay for a <laughs> how much is a marriage last year i didn't even know that how much is a marriage license ah I, I, it's funny funny i didn't even know i didn't even know you had to pay you know what I'm saying? You have to pay. <laughs> you got to pay this devil to be together. That don't make no sense. <laughs> it's funny. I, I, when I heard about this, I started laughing like I'm <laughs> That is a partnership. Because now, you teamed up with the state. <laughs> they can come in and do stuff to you both. You know what I'm saying? And you know he's going to be hard on you. You know what I'm saying? That's why you shouldn't be in another man's relationship. Look, the state is like doing this. Check this out, man. Let's say you with your girl, right? You know what I'm saying? You finna have a little bit of money and stuff like that. But then another man comes and take care of your girl. You know what I'm saying? Buys her food. But sets her up in a house. Gives her monthly money. You know what I'm saying? What would you do to that dude? Like, hey, yo, my man, stop giving my girl money, man. You're probably not going to talk. <laughs> and she's accepting it, too. So she needs to... <laughs> okay, I'm not, now I'm playing. But still, the fact is, that's what the government is doing. They're giving your girl money. <laughs> He's in your business. You know she's going to like him. Well, she, she gets money. For nothing, doing nothing, just spreading her legs. She got money from this devil. Well, that's the same thing that the government is doing. He's giving her money wherewith, whereby she's thinking in her head like, I love the vibe man. The vibe man gave me some money. Without the vibe man, I would have been dependent on you. No, I don't want that. I'm independent. I have my own house. I have my own food, my own drinks, my own water. I got everything. In the back of her head, she said, the white man, the white man gave me all this. Because if you go to Suriname, where I'm from, you ain't getting shit. <laughs> you gonna have to live with your mama because ain't no freaking uh, alimony welfare. Ain't that shit don't, uh, listen man, you females in America talking about your independence. Why don't you come live in Syria then? See what happened to you. You know, you're going to run back to America because they, they give you benefits and shit. Like, they give you money. They give you housing. You're going to have to live with your mama if you come to Syria then, and you don't have a man to fix your ass up with a house and stuff like that. Or if you don't, go get, go get your ass a job <laughs> and then get yourself a house to rent or, you know what I'm saying? But the funny thing is... um. Females in America think they're independent. You're, you're, you're not. Uh, why don't you come to Suriname? See what happens to you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no ain't no welfare there. Ain't no, oh, finna get alimony or child support. You ain't getting those things, man. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Now you're independent. That's why females over there, they all live with a man or live with their mother, their parents, family members. Or live, just live off of somebody else, man. Uh, you, you, or, or go to work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the, all those three things. Family members, husband, or work yourself. <laughs> Ain't no chilling in the house getting paid by some random caucus male <laughs> that you've never seen with your life, in your life, with your own eyes. That's just not happening. It doesn't exist. So you're not independent. You think you are. <laughs> Why don't you come live in East Europe? That's why a lot of East European Edomites, yes, Edomites, they flee to here or Germany 
because you get benefits. If you go to Poland and shit like that, you don't get those things, bro. Wait a minute. What? I do know that Romania, like, cause I know a female, you get like a hundred euros, a child, a hundred euros a child. You can't do nothing with that. And here in the Netherlands, you get three hundred euros a child. It might be higher now. You know, three hundred euros. Of course, they flock it over here, cause I, I remember asking this female, it's like, why are you here? She said, like, yeah, here you get benefits, you know, you get money from the government, you get housing, you get this, you get that. I don't want to be in uh, Romania. It's very poor. It's very backwards. They don't respect women like that. Da, 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 da. Oh, they're dead. And I'm thinking to myself, like, you Edomites. And even th over there, you kind of fucked up with each other. <laughs> That's why they're fleeing over here. Why do you think they're here? Why do you think they're, why do you think they're in Germany? Why do you think they're in France? Why do you think they're in England? Because they get money. They get free money. You know what I'm saying? That's the same thing as you having a girl and some random rich dude be providing her with a lot of things. You're gonna get angry. These devils know what they're doing. That's why they're in your business where they shouldn't be. But it's all good. It's all good. That's why the Lord said, you women that are at ease, <laughs> you, better, you, better, you better enjoy it right now. I actually don't think you should be enjoying it. What you need to be doing is come back to the Lord. And humble yourself to your husbands once because once your husbands turn into an alliance, you're going to die. Micah five and seven. You're going to die. You're gonna die. And eight. And nine nine. You're gonna die. Isaiah thirty two and nine. You're gonna die. So, Isaiah 4. So come back to the Lord, his men, the men of the Lord. Uh, you, you might be low right now, you know, have no funds. But before you know it, before you know it, yeah, that's all a beautiful place over there, here. Before you know it, you're going to have places like this. Before you know it. But that's, that's only for the ones that, that, that stick faithful unto their men. And, and we will get this because the Lord said it. He said, uh, where is it? Uh, what is it? Deuteronomy 6. Deuteronomy 6. Or here. 6 and 10. Deuteronomy 6 and 10. And it shall be, when Yahweh thy power shall have brought thee into the land which he swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities, which thou buildest not. Ooh. But in slavery, we build. Deuteronomy 28 said that too. We build <coughs> their cities and we didn't live in them. We planted their vineyards and we didn't eat off of it. We um, made clothing that we ourselves didn't wear. We did everything. We mined gold. We mined silver and diamonds. Until this day, you have West Africans mining gold, silver, diamond, uh, bedsheet, all, all these things, all these things. Buckshit, I don't know uh, how you say that in English. But you have farming wood for them, chopping wood that we don't build our houses off of. You do. You devils do. Because we sinned against the Lord. But now you devils are sinning against the Lord. So what, did, what do you think is going to happen to you? <laughs> verse 11 and houses full of good things full of all good things which thou fillest not and wells digged which thou diggest not vineyards and olive trees which thou planted not when thou shalt have eaten and be full so <clears throat> he did it before and he will do it again just like they say but I say it different I say it the truth they say this the Lord give and he take it away but I say, the Lord giveth and taketh away, and then give it back. He will. Because he, he, he said so. If you read the scriptures, you're going to find out, like, oh, no, he does give back. Look at Job. He gave Job. He took away from Job. And then later on, he gave it back. <clears throat> and then he gave it double, as much as he had. <laughs> well, that's the, that's the thing that we're going to be getting. Lord willing, of course. Well, we're going to get it anyway, because he said it, but... I still say Lord willing because it's his, it, it is his will. But I know that he's going to give it because he said so. Right. So going on. 
right so yeah these this this will be ours so i can show you many pictures of you know um yeah, you know um, um, uh great no great um no not ireland yeah, romania here romania landscape here wouldn't you want this wouldn't you want this i would want it and I'm gonna have it because the Lord said so. Um. <clears throat> mm. Here, Joshua chapter one, verse three: Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. So that was in those days which is the land of Israel, right? We got that. But the Lord is going to do it again. He's going to do it again. Let me see. Deuteronomy 11. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for that one. I wasn't looking for Joshua. Deuteronomy... Uh, what? 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 Oh, shit. Oh, I clicked it away. Uh, Deuteronomy 11. Yeah, sorry. Mm. Here, Deuteronomy 11, 34, if I'm correct, no, 24, <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, I got it, uh, 24, on um, every place we're on, wait, uh, 23, Deuteronomy 11, 23, then Yahweh. Then will Yahweh drive out all those nations from before you, and ye shall possess nation, greater nations and mightier than thy, than thy, than yourselves. And we will, also in these days, because aren't these nations greater and mightier than us? I mean, look here. Do we have this as as, as slave descendants? We don't have a fucking army, bro. We don't have this shit. We, we, we don't have this. We don't manufacture weapons. You can kill people. You can kill... It. One man, one Edomite, can kill thousands of uh, people with his weapon. Back in the days, we, with our fist, we can kill thousand people, right? But they now have the power to kill thousands of people with their weapons. They, they can kill millions of people with their nuclear bombs. I mean, come on, man. They can do that. Back in the days, one man of us shall chase a thousand. Now, one man of them can kill, kill hundreds of thousands. All you need to do is just fly. And you're gone. In a blink of an eye, you're gone. Wiped out. But anyway, they have their power right now. So they are greater and mightier than us right about now. Yes, they are. I mean, don't they feed you? Don't they job you? Don't they clothe you? Don't they make your daughters wear these things? Come on, man. Don't they do shit like this? You literally have sexy toddler clothing. You have, uh, let me see. You have this in their stores. Target removes some sodomite children after facing what backlash for children. That's what they're doing. Target loses 10 billion following boycott calls after over, sorry. This is what they do. And they, they clothe you. They clothe our people. And the reason why, what? No, I don't want to. And the reason why these people, oh, you want to be irritating? Really? You want, you want to irritate me? Right. And the reason why, the reason why these devils, are losing billions is because it's their children. <laughs> Niggas is stupid. They just let out of this shit. Uh, look, 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 look. Ain't, ain't no jigs doing this. It's Edomites doing these things. Because, uh, let me see here. On, um, um, here, for example. No, uh, Gucci and Ali does a drop called what, what, what? 
your Gucci and the imagery of all Adidas white shoes and shit like that. Let me see here. This is, I think it's Gucci. I think it's Gucci, right? Right. So, bitch ass niggas still buy Gucci. They ain't losing billions. F with these cave cave people, and you gonna lose billions. And they know. They ain't playing around. But the nigga, he's just he's just a product. He don't know what the hell's going on. That's why I can't stand our people walking around with. So-called designer clothes. I'm looking at you like, why you buy that? You know what I'm saying? I can understand if you wear a Nike. I can understand it. I can understand it. But like, Gucci, come on. These things cost fucking hundreds, hundreds. Listen, man. You don't need a Ferrari to get around. You need a car. You don't even need a car. You can take public transportation. But then again, do you want to? Okay, so. But you, 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 you don't need a Ferrari. You don't need a mansion. You don't need Gucci. You just need clothing to protect yourself against the elements. You need a house to protect yourself against the elements. You need a car for transportation or a bike or a motor, uh, you know, uh, scooter, whatever. You don't need a, 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 a t-shirt that costs $890. What? What? My rent ain't even for that, that high. <laughs> I, I couldn't afford that shit anyway, even if I had the money. And if I had the money, I wouldn't buy it. It's, it's, I'm thinking different. You know, you, 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 should buy. you know how many t-shirts I could buy from 800 and then 9 euros? I buy t-shirts at 10 euros and 20, 15, actually not 20. 20 is just, is a, is a, is a, with long sleeves. Ain't no damn t-shirt worth $20, my man. Unless it got a stupid logo on it and it's still not worth it, but they, they will sell it to you for all 20 and stuff like that. But the normal one with no image on it, it's supposed to be $5, man, 5 euros or something like that. And they're still not doing that because they're selling it to you six fifty, six ninety nine, devils, because it's eight euros. But you know they playing around with you. But still, how come they don't lose billions? Cause the nigga is stupid, and they know. They just follow after their master, cause they're idiots. That's just ridiculous to to even, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, we're owned, and they are mightier than us right now. But the Lord said we will own them. And this is what's talking about the people in the land of Canaan, by the way. But <laughs> we're going to own the world. So how about that? All the armies of the world, you're going to be owned by us. You, you, you just wait and see. 24. Every place where on the soles of your feet shall thread shall be yours. That's what, that's what, what I was looking for. The one in Joshua is good, but that was talking about the land. This one is talking about the entire planet Earth. And we will. It is also talking about the land of Israel, yes, but you can apply it also to the le to the world because we're going to own it. The book of Second Ezra chapter seven shows you that. Second Ezra chapter six also the end, but seven it shows you that like the world was made for our sakes. Yeah, so if you want to know the meaning of life, the meaning of life is to serve the Israelites. That's the meaning of life. That's the reason why you exist. You heathen nations, you other nations outside of the nation of Israel, which are the 12 tribes, the so-called Negros, Latinos, and Indianos. We are the reason that you are alive. The reason that a Kuli, uh, an East Indian, uh, a Turk, uh, an Edomite, um, <clears throat> let me see what more, a Chinese, Japanese, um, an African, a Thailander, Vietnamese, uh, whatever in existence, Arab, Of course, they're gonna show the caucus skates, the caucus like skin people. You know. Uh, let me think of summit. You, yeah, G7. The reason why these monkeys exist is to serve us. And yet the Lord said that. Uh, the book of Ecclesiastes 10, 7. I have seen servants upon horses. Uh, horses is represent power seat. And princes walking as servants upon the earth. We're the princes. The word Yasha Allah means he's a prince with God. He's a prince with power. He's a prince, you know. And what is a prince? As the prince is the son of the king. 
who's the king the lord so we are the sons of the most high yashadala and we're walking around as servants being fed like cattle watered like cattle housed like cattle clothed like beasts you know they selling us gucci and shit tommy hill nigger and stuff like that and our people are buying it but mess around with these cave monkeys they ain't taking that shit to the chin oh no they make sure that they do boycott you but guess what's gonna happen to them in the long run this generation growing up is gonna hate the old dinosaur generation like you're racist we should include all people all gay people here all of them because this is all gay just sodomites there is no difference between these 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 sodomites Lesbian is a sodomite, gay is a sodomite, bias is a sodomite, tranny is a sodomite, queer is a sodomite. All y'all sodomites. <laughs> All y'all just a bunch of homos. <laughs> they want to differentiate themselves. It's like, it's like, you know, the one wants to be called a tiger shark. The other one wants to be called a great gray shark. You ain't no white shark. You're a fucking gray shark. Your belly is white. Great gray shark. Uh, the other one wants to be called uh, a ham shark. Motherfucker, you all sharks. Shut up. Go swim in your little fish tank over there. You know what I'm saying? Go be go be gay over there. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you take a little island and do your thing over there. See what happens to you in about 100 years. <laughs> but that's not going to happen because something more beautiful is going to happen. You know what? <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> ah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. I'm laughing right now because I already see the future. It's already written. So I, you could call me a future guy. I, <laughs> I know exactly what's gonna happen to all sort of my soul. <laughs> So that's why you ain't really bothering me right now. I know your future. You don't need to go to a, um, what's that thing called again? Um, class for gypsy or something like that? Fortune teller. Fortune teller. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to go here. I can tell you your future. <laughs> <laughs> your future is that thing that I just showed you. <laughs> That's your future, and you, all y'all too. Y'all, all y'all going into slavery. I hope none of y'all die. Look at these devils trying to, trying to trying to copy us. Look at them. Look at them. He looked like he was about to stab him with with, with with a weapon or something like that. You see, even when they do this, they look suspiciously de demonic, like they're about to do something criminal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And again, right, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 24. Every place where on the soles of your foot shall tread shall be yours. For the wilderness, fr from the wilderness of Lebanon, sorry, from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even unto the othermost sea shall be your coast. So, actually, that land of Israel is actually bigger than you think. The Lord said so. So yes, this is talking about the, that land over there. Yes. But the earth is going to be ours. Uh, I just gave you Second Esther chapter 7. And Isaiah 63 also. Here. Here. Isaiah 63, 17. Goes hand in hand with... Let me, let me get it. Second Ezra's. Second Ezra's. Where's that again? Second Ezra's seven. Second Ezra's six and also seven. So I'm gonna just point it out. I'm not gonna read it because I'm already long deep in there. Second Ezra's chapter six verse. Fifty four until fifty nine. What? Fifty nine. 
if the world now be made for our sakes, you see, that's why the world was created. Why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? So Ezra is asking the Lord, so Lord, if you made the world for our sakes, just for the Israelites' sakes, why don't we possess the world? And how long shall this endure that we do not possess the world, Lord? Please. So he was asking in all sincerity, of course, with all due respect. And then the, the second chapter, the, the chapter after that, sorry. Second Ezra chapter 7, verse Ten. And I said, it is so, Lord. Then said he, the Heavenly Father, through the angel, because the angel was talking to Ezra, even so also is Israel's portion, because for their sakes I made the world. And when Adam transgressed my statutes, then was decreed that now is done. <laughs> Basically, since Adam sinned, all oh, the world is all messed up right about now. <laughs> and also, since the Israelites sinned, the world is even more messed up. I think that's in Isaiah 26, if I'm correct. <clears throat> the We broke the everlasting covenant. Isaiah 63 and 17. O Lord, why hast thou made us the earth from thy ways? The second Esther chapter 3 speaks about this, that earth from thy ways here. And also what I just read. Second Esther 7. And harden our hearts from thy fear. Return for thy servants' sake. The tribes of thine inheritance, the twelve tribes. The people of thy holiness have possessed it, the world, but a little while. Hey, our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuary. So we didn't possess the world and the sanctuary of the Lord for a long time, but a little while. We are thine. Thou never bearest rule, thou never bearest rule over them. That were not they were not called by thy name. So the Lord doesn't love them. He loves us. But yet we don't possess the world. We we will. We will. In due time. Let them have their fun now. And after that we can rip them and shred them apart for all the wickedness that they have been doing. Willingly. Enjoying themselves too. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're gonna get it. They're gonna get it. They're going to get it. But yeah, the women, you should be afraid. And <laughs> this is going to happen in the kingdom. Uh, before the kingdom, sorry. This is going to happen before the kingdom. And in the kingdom, we're going to have multiple wives. So you need to get like used to that. Because, yeah, when a man is rich, he, is, he, he has multiple wives. Only in America, they get messed up right about now. <clears throat> you know, that's also a plan. But the rest of the world, they're not following their garbage. You don't see that in Europe. You don't see that in Africa. You don't see that in Asia. You don't see the men being brought to trial that have money and have bitches that flock after them because of their money. And that they abuse and use them. It's good for them. Why are you here? Good because you got money. That's why I'm going to dog the shit out you, hoe. Now lick these boots. I'm going to give you $1,000. You got some more? You got some more? You got some more boots? To lick? You got some more? You see? Bitches. Right. So, yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse... Oh, yeah. I was thinking I was thinking about Malachi. So, let me hit this one. And then I will read the rest. Because the rest will be another uh, video, of course. And the rest will be another um, subtitle name. Yeah. Malachi chapter 2, verse 12. <clears throat> the Lord will cut off the man that doeth this. Oh, yeah. I already read that. Yeah, I'm gonna read it again. The master and the scholar out of the tabernacles of J Jacob, and him that offered an offering unto Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. And this have ye done again, covering the altar of the Lord with tears, ye lion, and weeping, fake crocodile tears, and, w and with crying out, insomuch that he regarded not the offering any more, or received it with good will at thy hand. Why? Because you're full of shit. Our people are full of shit. Yet, ye say, wherefore? Why are you doing this, Lord? Be because you, you, you're full of shit. You're not sincere. Those are fake tears. I'll make you have some real tears. How about going into slavery <laughs> for a very long time? <laughs> and have you women just looking like a bunch of white women, straighten their hair, just looking, I'm just, just fucking off. Just, 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 just totally against you. How about that? 
No, no, no. Now, oh, then now I see some real tears. And keep it moving. Because Yahweh had been witnesses, witness between thee and the wife of thy youth. The wife of your youth is this truth. As you can claim, of, uh, for example, here. Proverbs chapter 5, verse uh, 1. My son, attend unto my wisdom, and bow down thy ear to my understanding, that thou mayest regard discretion, and that thy lips may keep knowledge. And what is discretion? The quality of behaving or speaking in such a way as to avoid causing offense to, in this case, the Heavenly Father. <laughs> right? So don't break his laws, or you're offending him. <clears throat> <clears throat> For the lips of a strange woman, which is another philosophy, drop as a honeycomb. Islam. A lot of our people love Islam. And her mouth is smoother than oil. A lot of greasy words. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. You're going to die. And her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Hell is the grave. So, what does that show you? If you go to another philosophy, it sounds beautiful. All the peace, all the greatness, all the brotherlyhood, the camaraderie in Islam. The women are in check. They got their head covered. They bow down to their men. They have multiple wives. All that there. It sounds very beautiful. But that way is the way of death because they serve Baal. And I saw this female. What's her name again? I don't know their names, but uh, she's in the Game of Thrones. Um, married unto... The guy, what's his name again, man? I, know, I have him in my head, the Afro guy. American woman song. American woman. Lenny, Lenny Kravitz, his wife. Lenny Kravitz, his wife. Lenny. Wife. What's her name? Oh yeah, this this female. Right, uh, let me see. Then I saw her here. Where, where, where is it again? Game of Thrones? Uh, season, season what? Season 6 or something like that? I do not know Game of Thrones. I never looked at it. I never, I never seen it. I heard about it. But I saw this. I saw this. What does that look like? That looked like a fucking horn. Okay? Okay, what is that then? Here, here you go. Baal, moon god. That's what it is. That's what the fuck you just saw right there. It's a devil. That's some horns. That's some devil shit. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. You see that thing over here? That circle? Well, um, it's called... Man is straight. Is man is straight? Ah, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Mm -hmm. Man is straight. Wow, they... They really make you spell it good because they're devils and they know exactly what I'm trying to get at. Wait. Right, it's called a monstrate. <laughs> I misspelled it. Right, so you can pause the video to see if you uh, can read it. Wait, sorry. You can pause the video, but uh, yeah, I did a video about this on another channel. Yeah, I can't, I can't upload this on on YouTube. <laughs> so I'll I'll put the link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. I, but by the way, I didn't do the video. I uh, uploaded the video, right, um, right. <clears throat> it's called the monstrate, monstrate, and you see that bread that he had there, the sacrificial circle bread, the circle bread thing. Yeah, that's this. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sun the moon and the stars that's why the Arabs have this the moon and then the caucus the Edomites they have the sun and then they join in together that's what it is here here you have it star and crescent moon that's what they worship I'm not kidding you I didn't make this up <laughs> I didn't make this up to history, to the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, we are finding out the truth about these other so-called religions and stuff like that. They sound all pretty, well, not to me, but to the to the majority of our people that want to join the nation of Islam, for example, in America. 
they think it's all pretty dainty and all their their type of greatness and stuff like that if you knew what the hell you was actually doing what you was into you would not want to be there sucker you know that's what you're worshiping the cow what's the cow goes back to Baal what's Baal Nimrod you know but yeah mm, right that's what she is worth doing like who, who, who does this who walks around with this on their head a demon a demon worshiper you know people that are into the occult devil shit your hair looks filthy as shit you, you need to take a goddamn cut your hair and fucking do some real shit with it you know that thing looks disgusting it looks unbathed it's just disgusting your hair looks like shit too but this is just unclean man like you know if you, if you want to do Rasta do it do it better man. don't look like him the fuck you look like you don't take care of your hair look like a this is this is a filthy Rasta man for a female like god damn you filthy you need to do some clean Rasta bro you know <coughs> Yeah, I would not advise to do Rasta, but at least do it, at least do it decent, man. Like, it, this guy look like the guy that I just looked at. <laughs> what the hell? Is it him? I don't know. I don't think it's him. Let me take this picture and uh, compare it to them another time. This looks a little bit more decent. It still looks filthy. Damn. You need to wash your damn hair, bro. It's dead hair. Man, you, you. People shouldn't be doing this, man. Our people shouldn't be doing that shit. You know, Rasta comes from here. <laughs> clean. There's no such thing as clean. Rasta Kuli. Um, East Indian. This is where it comes from. That filthy shit. God damn. And these people never baited and stuff like that. This is just horrible. This is just horrible. You know, you think it's your cult. It's not. This is not our thing. It, this is not our thing. Just have your hair like an afro, my man. Women have long hair. But anyway, that's another story for another time. The point was to show you that she has that crescent moon on her head and it looked like two horns. Because it is. The horn is seen. And the abao, actually. That cow. Right. And the cow goes back to child sacrifice, as you can see here. If you don't know what this means, it means a fearless girl. Fearless? She's about to get sacrificed. That's what it. That's what it. That's what it represents. That's what it represents. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you endanger a little girl with a big ass water buffalo, looking bull, like that, and just have her stand here fearless? Man, you would run. And snatch your daughter away from there. But no, they. this represents, Mo, this is Molech, by the way. And the Lord said not to do these things, but Esau does it. Because he's the devil. Anyway, so the wife of thy youth is this truth. And we are married unto this truth. We're supposed to be. Verse here, verse 15. Proverbs 5 and 15. Drink waters out of thine own cistern, which is this truth. And running waters out of thine own well, which is this truth. And your own well, meaning your own Yahweh Basha, Yahweh Shai, and not no other God. Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad. So everywhere you go, all your fountains and your truth must be basically all over the place. Everything that you touch should be in Yahweh Basha, Yahweh Shai, and represented by Yahweh Basha, Yahweh Shai, and you represent Yahweh Basha, Yahweh Shai. Just like how you see Muslim people. When you see a Muslim in Sweden, you know he brought his God with him. You know he brought his uh, his customs with him abroad. You know? He he does it. Even if he, he is in China, he will serve his God, his Islam. Everybody knows this about the Arab people. You you know. You know automatically when you see an Arab, you be like, oh, yeah, his God, Islam, God, Allah guy. You know? Oh, they're there. That's what our people are supposed to uh, think of when they see us. They shouldn't look at us like oh, Rasta or Black Jesus or, or or something else. You know, they should think of Yahweh Basham Yahweh. That is what was supposed to be. 
and it will be soon. Just like how everybody looks at an Arab and thinks Muslim, Islam, and, and uh, their God and their Prophet Muhammad and stuff like that, that's the same thing that they will think of when they see us. Especially when you bash your fucking skull in. Once that time comes, you're going to remember our Lord as soon as you see us. <laughs> Fear. You think I'm making this up? The Lord said so. So I'm not making this up. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 10. All, 100%. That's what all means. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of Yahweh. And they shall be afraid of thee. Yeah. You won't fear me, God damn it. And God will damn you. Yeah. Proverbs 5 and 17. Let them be only thine. And not strangers with thee. Right. Yeah, stop doing this. Jeremiah 2.33 Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Why are you breaking your back trying to seek some love from these goddamn heathens, man? Therefore, therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Why? Why are you teaching them? That's why you have monkeys like this. So he's the king of rock. Really? This who, who taught this? Who taught this guy? What's his name? What's his bitch ass nigga name again? Uh, what's his name again? What is this bitch ass nigga? He taught them. What, what does it say right there? Is it said something? What? Oh. He taught him. He taught him. He taught him. He had an interview on David Letterman. And if you hear him, you'd be like, what? That sounds like... That That sounds like Elvis Presley. No! Elvis Presley sounds like him. But this nigga took the money and stayed in the background. You can check him out for yourself, man. But, um... <coughs> oh, this Blackwell... I don't want to even spell it right. Anyway, so this is the this is the interview. You can check it out. I'll put the link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. You know, and then you can go listen to a few of his songs, not just this one, but just listen to a few of his songs and then see like, oh shit! I taught Elvis Presley how to sing. Why? Because I need the money and I'm a nigga for sale. Oh, okay, cool. Right. Okay, cool. You needed the money. Why, why don't you go sing yourself? No, they paid me better. Oh, huh. okay. Nigga for sale. Okay, right. So why are you doing this? Cause, cause you know what? You know what? This is right. Jeremiah two fourteen. Is Israel a servant? Huh? Is he a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Huh? Why is he spoiled? What? Why do? Why do robbers rob him? Why are we spoiled? Because the Lord gave us up, and then we turn on each other. But now the Lord is waking us up, so we're gathering each other. See, the Lord said, "Either you gather or you scatter. Which one are you? Which one are you? You can't be in between. I don't like that. I'll spit you out of my mouth." That's what the Heavenly Father said, by the way. And then the Lord said, "Either you gather or you scatter." And the Heavenly Father said. Either you are cold or hot. Because if you lukewarm, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. Ain't nobody drinking lukewarm of cold, I mean cold soup and, and, and hot water, you know, on a sunny day. You don't do that. So you, you, you ain't off play. You might be hot, but you're not the good hot. You're hot water. You might be cold, but you're not the good cold. You're cold soup. You're supposed to be cold water. And you're supposed to be hot soup. Okay, you can't be in the middle, lukewarm water. Get out of here, man! I'm not drinking tea. You see, you can have hot water, but then you need to be tea. You know what I'm saying? Right. I saw one. Um, um, 
You need to be in season. Proverbs chapter 5 verse 18. Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be, let her, the wife of your youth, be as the loving hind and pleasant grow, which are dear. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times, which is your mother, which is your wife, which is uh, also your mother. And be thou ravaged always, always with a love. You might be like, hey, wait a minute, this is talking sexually. No, because it says that you are a babe. And what do babes drink? A babe drinks, because the Lord said you need to be born again and you need to be a babe. Here, he said it here. John 3, here. John chapter 3, verse 3. Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the heavenly Father. Matthew 18. And Yahushai and two called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So you need to be a babe born again and you need to be like little children. They learn because they have a sponge like a spirit and a mind. They learn everything. They can learn any language just like that. Just talk to them. Yeah, And then they're not going to talk back. They're just going to learn and that's it. <laughs> they're not going to talk back. Because they can't talk yet. You teach them. That's how you should learn in this truth. Don't talk back. Just listen and learn. See who you're learning from also. And the spirit will guide you toward the person that you shouldn't be listening to. <laughs> my sheep shall hear my voice. <laughs> the Lord will send. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So the Lord will give you. He's the one that's, he's going to fix you up, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, here. First Peter 2, 2. As newborn babes, because you're born again, right? And now you're becoming a child, a toddler, right? Desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. So you drink the milk which is this truth also Isaiah 28 and 9 whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine who the answer is them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast babes children and what is this truth for precept must be upon precept this is the truth precept upon precept line upon line line upon line here a little and there a little that's how that's why I jump around when I read the scriptures. I don't really actually just read one chapter and then I'm done. No, I need to jump to here to explain this that says here uh, for, to that precept. Because you might be like, oh, this guy's always all over the place. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're actually right. <laughs> Psalms 119, verse 104. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Right, through thy precepts I get understanding. So, with all thy understanding, with all thy pre... Wait, wait. With all thy standing, with all thy getting, get the understanding. Wait. With all thy getting, with all thy getting. Here, wisdom. Here, with uh, Proverbs four and seven, wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting of that wisdom, get understanding of the wisdom that you just got. That you just. Uh, how do you get it? Precept must be upon precept. Line must be upon line. Here a little. Here a little reading and understanding, and there a little reading and understanding. Or else you're not gonna get it. Acts chapter 8 verse 30 and Philip ran thither to, to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah the, the book of Isaiah chapter 6 oh, just the book of Isaiah sorry and said understandest thou what thou readest and he said how can I except some man should guide me and he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him right because when you read these, these scriptures you might not really understand what you're actually reading 
That's why you need somebody to tell you. And then off of that, then the Lord shall. This is what the Lord is going to do afterward. Revelation 3.20. Behold.